Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Sambalu video. In this video, I'm going to be trying to fix this uh, white Game Boy. So, I picked this up off eBay. It actually has quite an interesting problem, and I'm not fully sure um, what's wrong with it. Um, that's why I bought it. I thought it would be an interesting video. Um, so, this Game Boy is pre modded. It has a white shell with blue buttons, and it has a blue backlight in it. Um, I'm pretty. I'm like. 99% sure the shell isn't real if this shell was real uh, then I got an amazing deal because I paid 25 no 27 pound uh, for this and the white Game Boy sell for like 200 pound um, but I'm pretty sure this is a fake one um, just because of a couple things I'll quickly just show them now um, the front all looks good um, it's even got like the Kind of warranty information the only thing that slightly throws me off about it is the inside of the battery cover you can see there it's got like these dots along the top there's no number imprinted on there and also just there there's a slight hole in the shell which i don't really think that would have passed um nintendo quality control and finally uh the no one in the battery compartment does it actually say what batteries it it needs usually it says on that one like 4 AA or like times 4 AA um, whatever but yeah so I'll put some batteries in this and I'll show you what's wrong with it now I asked the guy for some pictures of the screen ribbon cables because I had a feeling that they were broken but he sent me some pictures and actually they're not broken there was one pin that looked a tad bit funny but um, nothing else really seemed to happen. Look, so it has no image. When you switch on the Game Boy, you should get a Nintendo logo that slides down. But th there's nothing and it's not the contrast. But when the game starts and it loads, you can see there's part of the image there. And it only appears to be one sort of shade. You'll see when you actually go into the game, the Game Boy is fully working, but like, you can't see half the blocks, like that, half of them will start floating, see, see, um, so that, that's interesting, um, this Game Boy, like I said, it's been pre-modded, the screen lens on it is a new one, but it's really scratched, so I'm going to swap it out for this new uh, blue one that I have, also, this Game Boy isn't biverted i don't know that for sure but i'm assuming it isn't by the fact that the polarizer film hasn't been inverted because when you bivert them you turn the polarizer film 90 degrees um and it would be like a blue color not the sort of browny gray color but let's get to disassembling it now we can just tip all these screws out and we can undo this oh there is a bivert chip in it all right, well, still need to take it apart and turn the polarizer film. I don't know if it's an adhesive one. If it is one of the sticky ones, I have a spare one to put in it. But let's have a look at this. Okay, well, for starters, the ground wire isn't attached. Um, I mean, the whole chip is wonky. Oh my God, I actually, the two pins are shorted as well. Like what? Oh, what the hell? That ground pad hasn't not been soldered in. It's been soldered in and then it's been torn off. Um, well that's not good. I mean, I can also see there's kind of water damage on the board. Like, um, on the DC jack kit, all this white stuff is water damage. There's a bit on the power switch. A tiny bit on the link port, but more importantly, there's some on the game cartridge reader, which isn't good because water damage can short the pins. Um, okay, well, I'll clean that up, but is that what's causing the, the funny image? The ground not being connected? The first thing I'm going to do is let me take this whole back motherboard out. 
let's have a look at the other side because there could be water damage on the back but actually doesn't mm, actually I was gonna say it doesn't look that bad but it's actually probably worse on this side yeah I'm gonna have to properly clean this wow um, I'm surprised part of this is working the DC connector there is completely corroded that component there is corroded there's actually a tiny bit of corrosion on the CPU. The headphone jack is filthy. So I'm surprised that this Game Boy actually has sound. The power board looks fine and the headphone jack board looks fine from the other side. But I definitely think this has come in contact with water at some point. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to clean that up. I'm not fully sure about this board here because it just it just doesn't look good when you I know what I can do actually instead of unsoldering the whole thing I can get my multimeter and put one point there and here because it should it should go to there there and that point pin there so let me get my multimeter quick and I'll test that so I've got my multimeter so if we put uh, this on there we should hear a beep if we tap it here which we do let's go for this one this one is pin 3 should go to there which it does finally pin 1 should go to there wait I don't think I had that on properly yeah okay so that one that all works fine Although the chip is wonky, it actually all works fine. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try and scrape back the trace for the ground. And I'm going to try and solder this to there, because it might be a bit difficult trying to solder it onto that pin on the actual chip. So I've zoomed in my camera so you can see what I'm doing. But I've just got uh, this knife, and I'm just going to take the edge and I'm going to try and scrape away the trace you can't see it that there just going to try and scrape that looks pretty good that is, I'd reckon that's salvageable but before I do that actually before I forget just take my soldering iron and these like desolder this here so these pins aren't shorting anymore. Just to be sure, since I've got my multimeter here, I'm gonna just check they're not shorting. Everything else looks good on this board actually. So just take my solder try and get a little bit on this trace here like that hopefully you can see this I hope the needle of my soldering iron isn't just covering all of this but let's just get that there solder that in like that that ooh, looks good actually let me what I'm going to do is, you can really see the water damage here, there, um, a bit there, and then mainly on the other side, it's just there, it's particularly bad. Tiny bit there, um, I think there was a tiny, tiny bit just under the power switch. Um, that's about it. I'm just going to get a toothbrush and some IPA, and I'm going to just clean that over so I'll do that in a time lapse now. Now the only thing left to do is to disassemble this front board and sort out the polarizer. That looks that's new. 
you can tell by if these are new by seeing if they've got like the pattern on the membranes and it is the same with EMB hopefully you can see cam will focus it's kind of like that pattern on it whereas if it was original it would be smooth and yeah these are also new so all of these button contacts are new so I don't have to worry about those the only thing is these um, I actually have this exact same set of buttons I got them in a job lot at some point um, and in terms of the screen lenses I actually got them in a job lot of backlights that I bought do I have to I haven't got the right bit for that I don't think I need to unscrew them because I'm hoping this polarizer isn't stuck down and it isn't I don't think or is it I'm not sure it's kind of half stuck down and half isn't okay I'm gonna go get the right bit and just unscrew those two right, screws. lift this up and the film isn't stuck down although that looks very odd Isn't that that's that caught. Well, for whatever reason, they haven't removed the films off of the polarizer. I mean, that wouldn't really affect it. I mean, the only thing it could do is add like a slight kind of cloudy effect. Well, I think they've removed it from one side, but not the other. Um. I don't exactly know why someone's done this. I mean, the backlight on this has been done perfectly. There's not a thing wrong with it, but it's just... It's just this. Like, they've done the backlight fine, but when the Bivert chip's been installed, it hasn't been done well at all. Because, I mean, they shorted two pins and somehow ripped off the ground pad. Um, I can't get this other side off. I mean, there is definitely another side on here because, like, I can I can see it. There's a slight. Hopefully, you can see that. There's like a mark on it, but I think it will be fine. I mean, I can't get it off, but anyway, let's not waste any more time with that. Let's put the film in the correct way. So they, he had it in like that before. That kind of looks like the original color screen, but we want to turn it so it's this blue. And hopefully that will actually look kind of nice when the console's off, because it will be blue on blue on blue. But let's just take the two screws here and put them back in quickly. And get the other one. that whilst I'm in the shell what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push out the old screen lens which is very sticky it's stuck down pretty well um yeah this shell is definitely aftermarket now that I look at it because there would be glue residue there I don't know if you'll be able to see this but I'll try get a picture of it um, I'll put it up on screen now You can see the screen lens is really scratched so that's why i'm replacing it but let's just stick this down if i can peel this off ah. stick this one down oh by the way this isn't a or the other one i just dropped it um it isn't a glass one it's just the plastic one the one that i've put on isn't glass it's also plastic um, but it doesn't really matter because um, I mean obviously it would look better with a blue glass one but I don't have any of those lying around so I just have to make do with a plastic one where the screws have stuck to the magnet and the speaker so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all these screws in these two boards and then I'm going to okay, so I haven't got the Game Boy fully assembled yet 
Um, I was just checking it quickly before I put the back screws in. Um, but actually, I switched it on to see if it works. And as you can see, the BioVert chip is working, the backlight's working, but honestly, in my opinion, and I don't usually say this about the Game Boys that I mod, um, I don't actually think this looks quite good with the Biver in. You can see it just it just doesn't look right. It looks completely different on camera. Actually, on camera this looks more white, um, but in real life this is definitely a blue. Now I turn the lights off so you can see it a bit better. But like, as you can see, in my opinion, it just doesn't really look that good. Um, that was just me because I know the batteries I don't have a battery so I'm not actually happy with how this looks uh, like I said I don't usually say that about the Game Boy Slime mod but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna be keeping this Game Boy um, for myself um, so I'm actually gonna change it to an unbiverted board I'm not gonna remove the bivert chip off this board risk damaging it and then whatever um, I'm just gonna just swap this board over. I have this one. This one has had some repair work done to it by me. Um, it's not particularly good. <laughs> this one did have a bivert chip on it, but it was removed and one of the traces were damaged and also the ground pad here got a bit damaged, but it works. I'm just gonna save this to another video because at some point I will b backlight another Game Boy and bivert it um, so I'll just swap the boards over that looks a lot better that really does look a lot better hopefully you can see this like I said my camera is just picking up this funny I don't think it likes the amount of light that's coming in because when my camera focuses this goes more to like an odd color this looks more white it is very blue in person. It There is no white to this at all. But yeah, I think that looks a lot better. I'm going to leave it as this. And I'm just going to put the back screws in. And then I will fully test it. Okay, so now I can put the battery cover back on. And the game in. And then I can peel the film off of the screen protector. Like that. You'll see me use this in another video at some point. I don't know when, but you will you will see me use it. But yeah, I'm gonna try put a picture up on screen at the end of this video of this Game Boy because the backlight looks white on camera. I keep saying it, but it looks white on camera. But in real life, it's it's blue. It's a nice blue color. Um. So yeah. So as you can see, the Game Boy is fully working. Um. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching, uh, comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!